Welcome back, friends, to video number three. If your first one is three, go back and see one and two. I hope that you're enjoying the new format. Remember, this is an experiment. We're just going to be doing it till the end of the month, and then we'll have to look at everything, okay? But there's a big update here in this story, so let's get there, shall we? Let's go. We're going to look at Harry's visa application. I'm going to give you a little bit of a backstory before I give you the updates, just in case you're out of the loop. So what happened was when Harry came to the United States, he came over during COVID right before the borders closed. He was allowed to enter the United States because he was married to Megan, who's an American. He didn't have to apply for a visa to come in. I personally believe he waited until Trump was out of office and Biden was in to fill the paperwork out. There are several options for the visa. Number one is a diplomatic visa because he is the Duke of Sussex and he is listed as a counselor of state. However, I think the whole world knows he's not a working royal, so that really wouldn't have been appropriate. Also, if you're in the United States on a diplomatic visa, you're not allowed to work, which we know Harry's been working. But no matter how Harry did it, when he signed and filled out his visa paperwork, now there are people saying maybe somebody else filled it out for him. He's supposed to fill it out. There's a box that says, do you use drugs? And everybody wants to know, did he check the box? Yes, I use drugs. Or did he check the box? No. If he checked the box, yes, then the only way he could stay in the United States is if he got a waiver. So the question is, who would have given him the waiver? People are ins insisting maybe it was Joe Biden. People are absolutely up in arms over that because a lot of other stars like Kate Moss tried to come into the United States and were told no because of previous drug usage. Now, obviously, the other option open to him was to check the box no I don't use drugs, I'm not a druggie, in which case he would have qualified for a visa. But then Harry did something really stupid. Harry put out a book called Spare. And in the book Spare, he admitted that since his late teens, early 20s, continuing up until today, he regularly uses marijuana, cocaine, and psychedelic mushrooms. Samuel Dewey from the Heritage Group then filed in court with the Department of Homeland Security wanting to see Harry's visa, and they said, no, it's private. Well, the response to that was, how can it be private when Harry's written it all in a book? So, you know what? The whole thing went to court. You're not going to believe this. The Department of Homeland Security, their attorneys walked into court carrying a copy of the spare. And they said, you know, just because Harry wrote in the spare that he used drugs doesn't mean that he did. He might have exaggerated to sell his books. I'm not kidding. This was their entire argument in court. Now, don't forget that Harry said himself that this was a true, unflinching, introspective book about his life. And it was not put up as a, a fiction, it was non-fiction. So upon the attorneys going into court for Harry saying, well, he may have been lying in his book, there was an outcry on social media that people want their money back for the book. The problem was Harry had admitted to drug use when he was a teenager and a young adult. He even did an online therapy session with this Mr. Mate, where he admitted then to heavy drug usage. So no, he didn't lie to sell the books. That's not what happened. What happened was Harry has always been in a position where he's never been held accountable for anything. And in his brain, I don't think he thought that anything bad would happen by him doing this in the book. Now, if Harry is hoping the American public will help him, I think he's sorely mistaken because number one, the American public are sick of him and Megan. And number two, this man is a multimillionaire and yet he expects the U.S. public to help him pay for his security. You know, when you think about it and you get down to it, what they're saying, what the American government is saying is Harry lied in his book, not on his visa application. So the big question was, what was the judge going to do? Because at the very least, he hasn't seen the immigration papers either. So what happened? Well, the judge by the name of Carl Nichols went to the Department of Homeland Security and said, 
I'm going to look at Harry's immigration file. So what he's going to get to do is review it privately and then decide whether or not to release it to the public. I got to be honest, since I think the Heritage Foundation has really made a good case here, because since Harry's already admitted it, he should be banned from living in the United States if he lied on his application. Why should he be given special you know, atten- not attention, you know, special, why should he get the chance to stay when other people have been thrown out of the country for less? So the question is, is Homeland Security going to acquiesce to this judge? However, a order was filed by Judge Nichols where he said that the Freedom of Information Law authorized him to review declarations and or contested records in camera. Therefore, he may not get his hands on the actual paperwork. It might be on video. Judge Nichols has now given DHS until March 21st to submit any declarations that detail the records it's withholding and the harm that would arise by public disclosure. Niall Gardner, who is the director of the Margaret Thatcher Center for Freedom at the Heritage Foundation, has made the point that Biden administration is still repeatedly objecting to the court taking the step. And that really waving some red flags at people as to the fact that Mr. Biden might have given Harry special privileges because they have some sort of a personal relationship. Anyway, It looks like the judge is going to look at these documents, and I have a feeling that if the documents show that Harry lied on his immigration paperwork, that will be released. That's my opinion. Mr. Gardner also pointed out that this is what he calls a very encouraging development, and it is a demonstration of how serious this case is being treated. Harry could be deported. Do I think Meghan Markle would go with him? No way. Although, maybe that's why she wants a UK, you know, PR person to help her with her image. You guys know what to do. Put those comments down. Make sure you're still subscribed. If you're already hit that button, double check. Make sure you're still subscribed. Don't forget the links in the description box. If you've donated to my coffee fund, thank you so much. And keep an eye out for video number two for today.